In this video, I'm not just going to show you how to create a Claude project. I'm going to show you how to build a Claude project that will build your future Claude projects special instructions. This is a meta type Claude project that can be reused over and over again every time you need to build a Claude project for a particular use case in your business or for your clients. So here's what we're going to cover. We're going to set up a Claude project factory. We're going to create Claude project instructions, and then we're going to set up our first custom Claude project based on a use case that I will provide. All of the documents and information from this video are on a public GitHub repo. There's a link in the description to grab those. Let's go ahead and dive in and start creating our Claude project factory. If we haven't met yet, my name is Andy and I help small businesses implement AI and automation. All right, so we're over here in GitHub and we're looking for the Claude Project Creation Prompt Template .md. MD means markdown is just a style of formatting these prompts so that AI understands structure. So right here it is. Paste the following into your Claude Project Factory instructions. So we're going to start. I'm going to give you the instructions for your Claude project factory, and then we're going to generate a project from that. First, before we jump into these directions, we're going to go set up our project factory. So to do that, we need to create a project. I've navigated here to the little folder icons where it says projects, and I've clicked there, and now I'm on the projects page. You'll notice I'm using Claude desktop, which I prefer, but you can also use Claude on the web and it's going to look basically exactly like this. The other thing you have to know is for projects, you will have to have a paid plan of some sort with Anthropic to get that projects access. So we're going to click new project and we're going to give it a name, Claude Project Factory. In this box here, we want to put something that reminds us what this does. It creates a new Claude project from scratch by answering some questions. The prompt I'm going to give you is going to walk you through some questions to kind of get the understanding of what your project does. You want to put this here because as you see your list of projects, Sometimes it's like, well, I don't remember what that title means. You'll be able to see that description here and go, oh, I remember what it is. So it's really helpful to put a description there that makes sense to you. That's brief. Don't put paragraphs because you won't be able to really see that from this view. Now I'm going to click here on my Claude Project Factory. We're not quite done setting this up. I'm going to kind of go over this screen for you. If you click the three dots, you'll be able to edit the details, which is the name and that description. Three dots again, you can archive this or you can delete. It. Next to that is a star. Now this is this might be one of those projects you want to add a star to because that puts it at the top of your list in Claude. So right up here you see starred and it's at the top of the list. It may move around a little bit, but it's still going to be under that starred section rather than down in the recents section. Back into our Claude Project Factory. Over here we have a couple things. We have instructions and we have files. The instructions are where we're going to put this prompt that I'm providing for you. It's the instructions for creating a new Claude project. This is going to run every time you use this project. So I'm going to jump over here to GitHub. Here is that file we found a little bit ago. I'm just going to click the copy button right here. And back over here in my Claude project, I'm going to click in there. I'm going to simply paste that in. Those are my instructions for creating instructions for a new Claude project. All right, so right here are files. I'm not going to put any files in this one. You might want to for your use case. So let's say you're always creating projects for a particular industry or niche, and it's very specific. You might want to put some documents in here that would be what these documents will do is add context to your result. So add documents in here, PDFs, documents, you can paste things in, you can add things from GitHub, but we're not going to do that for the Claude Project Factory because I want to create a wide variety of projects and I don't want it limited to a certain context or data set. Okay, so I have a prompt here I want to use for my new project. I'm going to paste it in here. I want to build a Claude project that accepts a semantic keyword phrase from the user, searches the web for that phrase, and retrieves the top five ranking pages. Once those pages are collected, I want it to do a analysis of each of those pages and give me back a report, a research report. That'll be used to write other blog posts. And the idea here is to get a research report back based on the top five ranking pages and get a plan for writing a page that could potentially outrank those top five. That's the goal. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to hit enter and Claude's going to think a little bit and it should walk us through a set of 
questions. All right, so that was the last section of questions. Uh, there were quite a few questions in there. I'm going to put my uh, entire chat in there so you can see what I answered throughout the process and what the questions were. But right now it's generating those custom instructions for our project. So it's finishing the generation of this artifact. Again, what we did, we entered a prompt. I answered the questions. I'm going to copy our custom instructions and then we're going to go over and create that Claude project. So I'm just going to click copy right here. Now we're going to go to back to project. We built our Claude project factory that we can use over and over and over again, just like we did here. But now we're going to create a project that is for this specific use case. So I'm going to click new project. So I'm going to go over here to our custom instructions there and open that up. All right, there are our instructions. I'm going to save instructions. For our description of this, I'm going to ask it to give me a description. So please create me a one sentence description of what this project does. We're going to copy that. And I'm just going to click right back here on our breadcrumb trails to go back to the project. We're going to click our dots, edit details, and I'm going to paste that right there. Let's test this out and let's get some information back and see what how well this does. Again, you can put files in here and this is where I would tend to do that just to help give context to the results. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go overhead and I'm going to go here and we're going to do web search is on and that should be all I need. Good. So we want web research. So I'm going to say, so I'm going to put a keyword in here and we're going to let that run. See what it brings us back. So it's key that it is it is searching the web here. So it's search for medical spot Dallas. You want to make sure it is doing that. Uh, now it's going to fetch the top five rankings. It's getting some here, some URLs. There's one, every once in a while you'll see the words failed to fetch, and that's just where Claude can't retrieve that particular result. All right, so now it's outputting this result. Competitor analysis research brief, executive summary, key competitive insights, and here is site one, site two, site three. We're getting some H1 analysis here comprehensive service-based organization, uh, technical SEO evaluation, local SEO, SEO factors, medical authority signals, uh, that's good. Critical competitive analysis, uh, all these things were defined in our questions as we set up this project, these project instructions. Maria's Med Spa Dallas, good. This this looks really good. So that's what I'm really looking for in writing blog posts for my Med Spa clients. This all looks really good. So just to recap, let's talk about what we did. We built a Claude project factory. It is totally reusable to create as many projects as you want. And you saw for the project instructions we created, it did an amazing job. It asked thorough questions about your intent and the kind of tone and analysis I wanted. We created that new project. It created some really great results that are actionable that we could use in my case to go write blog posts for medical spas. So my question is, what projects will you build with this newfound knowledge and this information. Leave a comment in the description. I would love to know what kind of things you're building, any question you had about the process. If you want to know more about how I use Claude with my GitHub repository, you can check out this video and it will go into details about this. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.